My name is Lorraine Hubbard. I'm 46 years old. Um, I'm originally from Auckland, New Zealand and have lived here since 2000. It's just myself and my son. I was in a woman's refuge and they, uh, I was blessed enough to have this house come up. I was offered it and it was just what I needed at the time. It came right when I really needed the place for myself and my children. Because my husband and I split up, okay. obviously. And um, yeah, it's uh, my home and my children's home and we love it. Money, I think it will always be as a single parent. Having a, a, a decent quality of life or being able to get, offer him the best that I can. Um, and that's a challenge because it comes down to being, obviously, having money, which is employment and such, uh, which I have now, but I didn't. So it was always a struggle, mm -hmm. but I was um, always grateful for my position that I had, even though I was on the pension. Um, I used to volunteer to give back because I was so grateful for my position to have an income to support my children on my own. For me, it was one of the greatest things that I would have ever asked for at the time. Uh, I didn't know where my life was heading prior to getting the house, but when I did it, it, it gave me a base to start and pull myself up and out, and I you know, will always be grateful to evolve for that, because it gave me a solid foundation for myself and my children to begin life again, and, and so I've continued to do that, yeah. It, I let him know through having the house and a home that we could now start having our own things, uh, working towards saving up for him a bike because we had a backyard and get a dog and things like that. And as it is, we have a dog and you know my daughter had a rabbit and a guinea pig and you know it, it may, makes it feel like home. I was looking for work, uh, I'm a qualified gardener, and he said, had you heard about the tenancy employment scheme? And I said, oh, I'd seen it in the newsletter. You know? He goes, well, here's a form, do you want to fill it out? And I said, oh, yeah, he says, they're looking for someone. And I said, oh, okay. So, yeah, and that's how it happened, and he, he actually put it through, and uh, a few days later, SR rang me. And they were brilliant because I don't drive, you see, and they're in Hillsdale. So, and she said, no, that's not a problem. And I says, I don't know how to get to Hillsdale. <laughs> and she texted me all the directions, which buses, which trains to catch from Bankstown. And I made the trip and I was employed on the spot, basically. And yeah, I'm lucky, very, very lucky. Yes, I took me on and here I sit. <laughs> So once I was employed again, it just opened me up and I never used to, uh, I keep to myself, you know, and so, but I'm very good with people and uh, so, yeah, I love this job and, and since I've been there, I can name at least two or three people on each side that know me personally now, you know, I make sure that if they need me in any aspect you know with the gardening or if I can help in general and that makes me feel good you know because there's people that come out now and say oh you're here Lorraine I'll put the jug on washing machine died you know and then I just happened to be reading the newsletter and I thought oh gosh yeah so hence I rang up and said mate you know can you help me out and he says yeah no worries get your quotes uh, and so I did and it was cleared and had a lovely new washing machine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So it's a, it's a really good thing for the tenants. I, it's, you know, that's really, you know, no interest loan on your white goods and things like that. I mean, what more can you ask from a place, really, you know? I think it, you know, it's fantastic. Safety and security. Peaceful, happy life. Okay. You pretty much, yeah. Okay. Uh, with those you love and care about. It's home for me. When you're going through your hardest times, when you think you're at your lowest, if you can, stop and think that there is somebody in this world that is worse off than you. And if you can do that and feel that, stand up, don't give up, and keep trying. For the immediate future, I would say uh, owning myself a great car, the long-term goal. I really would love to own my own home. If I could, I'd actually buy the house on them and renovate it. Yeah, my my family they own their homes, and so you know it's good for your family to have roots. I think in Australia's my home.